Hello. Welcome to this Visible Analyst e tutorial brief, How to Split Data Flows. Data flows are used on a data flow diagram to show the movement of one or more data items. Here we see the data flow diagram containing a large number of input and output data flows. Showing all the data flows on a top level diagram like this can make the diagram difficult to read and understand. Through the use of the split flow function in the visible analyst, you can show the complex data flows on the top level diagram and then break them out individually on the child diagrams. On this diagram, we have a number of input data flows relating to the customer. The customer name, the customer address info, the customer phone, customer email, etc. On one of the other diagrams in the project, these data flows have all been consolidated into one complex data flow. Here we see a modified version of the top level diagram. The red data flow, customer contact information, is the complex data flow that's used to replicate the customer information shown on the previous diagram. When I explode this process to show more detail at a lower level, right mouse click, choose explode, you'll see the data flows are dragged down to the lower level diagram. On this diagram I can split the data flow into composites to show more detail at this lower level. When I right mouse click on credit card information and choose split data flow, I can choose the credit card expiration date, the credit card number, I can add another data flow transaction amount transaction date. That flow has been split into these two flows as well as the credit card number and credit card expiration date flow. I can drag these and attach these right to the diagram. Move these up here, move this down, take this and I can make this connection here. All these data flows are represented in the parent data flow. When I save the diagram the repository is updated. Double click on credit card number. When I look at the locations tab I see that the flow is used on the diagram as well as the composition of the parent flow. When I jump to the parent data flow, I see the four data flows in the composition field of this complex data flow. Because these flows were split from the parent flow, the analyze function of the visible analyst recognizes the split and when you analyze the diagrams, the diagram will be correct. You can also choose, in this case, for the customer contact information, right mouse click, choose split data flow and you can select these two flows from the existing diagram and that is recognized within the repository when the diagram is saved. Here I've returned to the other top level diagram. One issue that can arise when you have a large number of data flows entering and leaving one process is that when you choose to explode this process not all of the attached data flows are dragged down to the lower level diagram. Here I right mouse click on the process, choose explode, we create a new diagram and we see this error, too many flows to fit on diagram, remaining flows ignored. The visible analyst uses an algorithm to position these data flows on the lower level diagram. There's not enough room to drag down all of the flows. What you can do is, dragging the mouse with the left mouse button depressed, move a number of the flows into the middle of the diagram, save the diagram, go back up to the parent diagram, and then re-explode the, the process. Again, you may have to do this a few 
number of times until all the data flows are dragged down to the lower level diagram. This has been a quick overview of working with the split data flow function in the Visible Analyst. See the online help system for additional information about splitting data flows in the Visible Analyst. Thank you.